Hi, I'm Ed, and you join us here at the Sigma stand at um, Photokina 2010 here in Cologne. I'm here with um, Paul from Sigma, who's going to run through three of your new products that you're launching this year. Um, one more importantly than the other is the DSLR, but we'll come along to that in a minute. Okay. If you um, wanted to just run us through um, your two lenses first. Absolutely. Well, we'll start with uh, this, this one. This is a 150mm macro lens. Okay, um, great. We've had a 150mm design. It's a 2.8. I've had a design similar in the past, but this is a new one uh, with an optical stabiliser. Yeah. Um, so this is obviously great for macro photography, yeah. um, because when you're up close, as you know, you can uh, get a lot of camera shake if you're not using a tripod. Exactly, so, um, yeah. That's a useful feature to have. Um, on the side, you'll see there's uh, different positions, different switches for the OS. You've got manual focus. Um, and yeah, nice, nice simply explained on the yeah, side. Very, very good layout. Uh, this is available in Canon fits, Nikon, Sigma, Sony and Pentax fit as well. Okay. All autofocus cameras. Oh, great, so right across the range then. Yep. And then if you wanted to come on to the second one, it's, yep. what's the, this is a 120 to 300. Uh, 120 to 300, again 2.8 EX uh, DG OS lens. So, Again, similar to the 150mm, it includes our optical stabiliser system. And great for sports photographers um, and also wildlife photographers. You can put 1.4 or 2 times converters on the back of there, bringing maybe a 600mm 5.6, so that'll still autofocus. Definitely um, still. And, you, and you've got, um, I understand you've got a new coating on this um, lens as well. Yes, it does. Um, there's a new finish to the outside, and there's uh, special coatings to the glass as well, just to cut down on reflections. Uh, what we call ghosting, which is very similar to flare. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, and also with this, it comes with O-ring ceilings, um, so it's weatherproof. Um, so if you can take it out in a, a light shower or in the desert, for example, it will resist getting sand or water in the. Right. Right. So it really is made for the elements, then, isn't it's it? Made for, certainly for pro use. Yes. Yeah. To take out there, very very good optical quality. Okay, great. Uh, and uh, the prime lens, in fact. And it also um, it comes with a lens hood, a, a screw fix lens it's hood, and a case a, as well. A metal lens hood. Um, and also a fitted padded case, so it's easy for transportation. Okay, brilliant. So, and then if we finish off here with the with your new DSLR. Camera. Um, this is our flagship uh, digital SLR camera called the Sigma SD1. It's actually a 46 million pixel wow. um, Foveon image sensor, which is a, a, it's an APS-C size sensor, 1.5 crop. And the Foveon sensor is very different in that it works on three different layers. So at every pixel location, it responds to red, green, and blue light rather than just like a Bayer sensor, which will respond to red, green, or blue light. Oh, okay. So very different technology. Um, image quality is superb. Uh, this also comes with O-ring ceiling, similar to the 120 to 300. So again, dustproof, weather resistant. Nice and secure, respect. yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And it's um, CF or it's SD card? Flash. Yeah, compact flash cards. Um, and it's UDMA compatible, so high speed, high speed writing and reading as well. Brilliant. Yeah. So you're really catering to the photographer's needs here with this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Well, thanks ever such a lot for showing us your products again, Paul. Pleasure. Thank you. And um, check back here at Warehouse Express for more from Photokina 2010.